shit. What? Yo, what? What? No, what? come here. Come check this out. Oh no, it's a sex doll. Oh. Oh. I am not opening that one. Oh, I am. Oh shit, that's really badly trash. It's oh, yeah. all these men surrounding one girl. Oh and one guy. no. What is all that white powder? Oh shit. Look at the knife. The knife. Oh god. Look, that's blood. What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Colson Explores and today we're exploring an abandoned brothel in Devon. Alrighty guys, so today I'm here with Proving Demons. He is in the car just behind me there. Um, we're gonna be setting off in, yeah, literally a couple minutes time. Right, so I've been down in Devon now for about four or five days and I've been keeping my eye on this place for, I'd honestly say about three or four months now. The reason I haven't filmed it up until this point is because I've been so busy with other locations that I haven't had the chance, but today we are going to hit it. All right guys, so we'll be literally heading there in about two minutes time. Um, before we actually set off, I want to do some history. So maybe I'll do it in the car with you guys because I know a little bit and this place is packed with stuff, but it's very interesting, the stuff that I've actually read in the past about it. So on that note, we'll get in the car and I will see you at the location. Let's roll. Are you ready to go exploring? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so excited. You ready to go and see all the brothelly stuff? It's my favorite time of year to go visit a brothel. I, I mean. mean... <laughs> all right, so I've just Googled this place and I've just found an article from Devon Live. So it says, house from hell, neighbors call on council to take more action. Torbay Council says it isn't working with police and fire service to reduce the impact of the house in Peyton while seeking force um, of the owner into a long-term solution. Right, so people living near this property have dubbed this place the house from hell and said they've had their at their wits end with the latest fire. So there was a fire. Okay, so yeah. we, need to, we need to keep an eye out for that one. The house, obviously the address is there. Um, well, oh my God, was the scene of a murder in 2002. What? And was closed by police in 2010 following complaints from the neighbours about drug taking, prostitution, antisocial behaviour, including urinating, defacing on the grounds um, outside the house. Nevertheless, the building has been occupied in the years since. Okay. A lot of dark history. Right yeah, there. a murder. So what? A brothel, a drug dealer's mansion, yep. and the site of a murder. Yeah. I'm just trying to scroll for more information about that. Right, so just found again uh, a bit about the fire. So this was apparently last year. An occupant thought to be an uh, age 40 um he died in the fire with also with a dog what oh so a murder a fire that killed somebody yeah so brothel, the murder was before the fire a brothel a drug dealer's mansion yep. what else is this thing oh it's absolutely packed it's genuinely packed it's just stuff right so in the last year alone the police have been called 50 times to attend this property with incidences 50 times so this is the neighbors guys you've got to remember that this is the neighbors calling the police so we're gonna to have to be a little bit more careful about this yeah. at the time of the closure 16 residents including a name were evicted um i believe that name is the murderer from what i can see from this article and overall had 140 convictions against them Shh, 140 convictions so they're, what, they're in prison now yeah okay. that's mental <coughs> yeah they've been jailed uh sentenced to 28 months in jail that's the person that burnt it down and the murderer age 36 a father um it sounds like oh my god he was a small time drug dealer can't say the name of that uh cocaine and one of them was jailed for life but the other one is still on the run wow and by the looks of it it says that he's, he's buggered off to thailand you know what a lot of people seem to bugger off to thailand when they're in trouble didn't um uh, Gary Glitter do the same. Yeah, well. I believe so. Yeah, Bugged yeah. Off to Thailand. And what is it with Thailand that keeps them protected? I, I don't know. I mean, I assume t Gary just went there for the underage. You know what? Yeah, but yeah, true. Apparently, that's just where to go to run. Crazy. All right, guys, you just heard of yourself. There's a lot of history in this place. Um, I will link some more down below because there's such a massive chunk. I can't sit here all day reading it, but trust me, it's worth a read. So before this video gets started, you can go down there and look if you want before it. If not, continue watching and we'll see you when we get to location. Let's roll. All right, we are pulling up. Whoa. Yo, is that it? Oh my God, it's huge. Oh, that looks different. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't think it'd be that big. All right, I'll uh, try to park here. It looks like good. It's really some... badly boarded. Uh, okay, I'm sure we can climb. jump over. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm a bit nervous about this one. I mean, yeah. they, they call this what? The house from hell? That's what the neighborhood's been calling this place, the house from hell. So I don't know what to expect going in. Oh my God. Well, it's quite a built up community and I can see there's people getting out of cars just down there. So I really hope we're gonna be alone. Yeah, let's uh, let's just wait till they pull off and we'll just get a quick entry. 
Yeah, real quick entry. Okay, right. I think if we stand on that access point, we could probably jump up onto that pillar. Yeah, that little over. pillar. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. going to be our best bet. That should be perfect. I've just noticed down there, guys, I didn't get on camera. The guy that got out of the car looks like an urban explorer. Uh-oh. And they're at the boot of their car, and I think they might be getting shit out. I have no wait, idea. Wait, let's, let's wait before we yeah. make a decision and just spy on them a bit. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie, right. let's do it. Um, that guy isn't there, so I don't know where he went. But maybe he went to that, that block of flats. Oh my god, there's people looking at us if we speak. She's sat on the door, so they're having It'll be fine. Just, Fuck. <laughs> as long as we act like we're meant to be here, we'll be just fine. Yeah, okay. Act like you know what you're doing. Okay, do you want me to go over first, or are you going over first? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll grab the camera Okay. Is it a solid drop, or is it all right? No, 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 it's not too bad. All right. Just take your time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Holy crap, this place is huge, and there's stuff everywhere. There. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Don't mind me. Fuck. There's somebody looking at us right now at their flat window. It's fine. Are you waving at them? <laughs> Just turn their back on me. <laughs> Come on. Oh so much for being subtle about this. I know, it's fine. There you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. It's huge! I know. There's a trailer! There's a... Oh. There's a lot here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so I hope we are alone on this one. Um, not too sure, because obviously we know a lot of people have been talking about this place, so... It should be alright. I can hear pigeons inside. So can I. Right, let's do it. Okay. Alright, so this is the main driveway, the main doorway. I wonder what the hell this was. I know you said obviously it's a brothel and a whorehouse, but I also think this would at one point have been a hotel. Or apartments, because it I mean, looks very flat vibes, doesn't it? Well, you say that, but all the houses around here are mansions. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a hotel. I have no idea. But all I do know is there is a lot of shit out here. They've gutted this. Wow. I'm telling you now, this this isn't builders gutting this. This is uh, people. Oh, look. Look, here, boots. Maybe this was one of the uh, the women who worked here. Because you've got to remember this was obviously a brothel. Well, no one's lived in here since then. Wow, so maybe this was one of the workers' boots. I have no idea. Oh, so decayed. Oh, I love it. You know what, I, I like the, uh, the natural decay as opposed to like, obviously breaking shit. This is absolutely awesome. It is absolutely trash at the moment. Yeah. Right, I think the difference with this place compared to other places is, you know, I was saying like earlier or yesterday about some place you walk in and stuff's like presented and you find it immediately, this place is gonna be a digging location. So I think we're gonna to have to be picking a lot, up a lot of stuff, moving bits, to try and find the best stuff in this location. So um, I was also told guys on a side note that apparently in this building, there are photos of the, of the prostitutes and the whores. So I don't know how true that is. And I don't know if they're still here, but we will definitely have a look. Um, I'm very sorry to call them whores, but obviously being correct, uh, I did Google it before I started saying this sort of stuff online, but apparently this is the best way to put it. So. There we are, we'll stick with that. Um, but right, let's get Moochin. All right, so I've just jumped for the window and I've just seen again, there is more stiletto boots and heels. So I'm adamant this is for the ladies who worked here. Oh my God, look at the size of this TV, come around. Oh my God. That's a TV, that's an old school What? One. What's with the box? Early 2000s. <laughs> okay, I've never seen a TV like that before. Really? Yeah, no, never these seen the, that. These were the first flat screens that we were granted when we were growing up. Wow. Right? I feel like an old man talking about to you, like, oh, back in my <laughs> day. But that this it's is what huge. this was the norm back then before flat screens came out. And it even comes with like a cabinet. I'll tell you, these things weigh so much. Really? Whenever whenever mom or dad asks you to help move the TV for a second so they cleaned under it, it's like you, it's a two person job to <laughs> hold this massive thing. It's awful. <laughs> oh shit. So in the corner we've also got an absolute ton of bed bases. Um sofas there, a lot of pillows. Oh god, this is gonna be fun to get over. Okay. Shall I give you the flash out of the camera? Okay. <laughs> You got this. I feel really bad stepping on everything, but I can't really help it. Listen, it's... these these people are not coming back for this stuff anytime soon. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, more stilettos, more ladies' bits going through uh, no, through the living like room. This. this was oh. a, this was a brothel, and there's a, a pacifier. Kids, yeah. Oh dear. Why would there be kids in a brothel? Yeah, that's that's not good. I was just thinking, there's a lot of sort of like kid-looking stuff around here. Yeah. So there's little toys in the back corner. So I don't know, toy sword there. 
hopefully they didn't keep uh, kids in a place like this oh wow so this is the main hallway that was the front door i've just filmed on the outside yo it's a woolly mammoth oh look at that oh my god that's beautiful it's an actual woolly mammoth that looks really good quality yeah oh i've just seen something i can't film it but look what? Sexy show. Will that get away with it on YouTube? At this distance it will, but... Yeah, don't look, don't close up because the boobies are definitely out. Okay, so we found our first sexy item. <laughs> <laughs> you little bugger. Right guys, so there will be a few items, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to film because unfortunately YouTube's not going to allow it, so... Oh shit! What? Yo, what? What? No, what? come here, come check this out. What? Oh, that's gross and freaky at the same time. Oh! <laughs> oh no, it's a sex doll! Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I'm wearing gloves. Oh god, no. The I didn't even find that. No, the problem is this was a brothel. So, so this, that would have been used. This probably would have been used. Oh god. <laughs> I really don't want to. Okay, I did not think we'd find that in here. Oh god. Oh god. At least she's deflated. Oh wow. She got nipples. Oh. That's so weird. It's been, I guarantee you it's been news. Oh, God. That's so freaky. Don't tell people what that bit is. What? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, you, God. Yeah. Oh, no. Shit. She looks like she had a really rough weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I, I can just tell we're going to be in for a field day of this place. Already we found, what, the DVD cover, which obviously I can't film because it's got nipples. And then we found a blow-up naughty doll. Oh dear. I said, I just feel gross being in here and it yeah. didn't help having Mr. Bean staring at me <laughs> like that. Bean. Mr. Bean. He's, he looks like he's seen some things. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, he looks well chuffed with himself. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it here. <laughs> oh, we got a big old room in here. Okay. More, there's women's stuff everywhere. And yeah. Everywhere. I'm trying not to film some of it because I can see on the floor there's a lot of dirty articles, but unfortunately YouTube will not let me get away with that one. Okay, so I'm assuming this was a bedroom? Looking at all the wardrobe spaces. Maybe it's just oh, it's loads of moths, yeah. Wow, got that look at the back of the, the room. The decay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I, I don't know what's in that box. I'm assuming it's probably not very good movies. Well this if one you get what I mean. Oh, oh. this one's just regular movies. Oh regular, okay. Um this is on magazines. Yeah. Yeah, they collected a lot of Oh. <laughs> oh god. The, uh, will I get oh, away with that one? That one, yes. Okay. I'm just going to film your face so we don't get in trouble. Uh, I'll tell you what's actually... In... So far, it's not as dirty as you... Oh, never mind. There is nudity in here. <laughs> uh, could you get away with any of this? The front cover will be enough, won't it? The front cover is Yeah. Do you, shall I show it again? Yeah, the front cover is okay, fine. So... There's no nudity on the front hey, cover. Hey, Sophie. Oh, dear. Just naughty, naughty stuff on the inside. Probably another one. Oh no, that's just the normal chat magazine. That one's regular, thingy. yeah. Oh. Oh. I am not opening that one. Oh, I am. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna film your face so we can get a. Oh. Oh. Oh no 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 no. That's a man's bum hole. Yeah, that's not good. I'm no. Good. No thank you. I'm not. No. <laughs> oh fuck. God, babe, that's the first two rooms. Yeah, but. And. You gotta remember, this is a big place. So God knows what else we're yeah, gonna find. Got, it's moldy and empty. But... Yeah. All right, that goes into up here is the rest of the house. What a car? Okay. Oh, there's a room. Oh in there. shit, that's really badly trash. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and make it up there. Be so careful. There's floorboards missing, but it looks like somebody's been used to living here. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Be awful. Okay, that's fine. It's not that bad of a drop to be fair. It's only about what a foot and a half. Okay, just trying to try and balance over this. Oh, it's crunching. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's right, only a foot and a half drop. Okay. Oh my god. What? You cannot show this on YouTube. Why? What is it? There's so much. Wait. The photo oh! Is so <laughs> oh no. Okay. Right. Um, I don't know what you can and can't show. That is Oh. Let me, let me go through and see okay. if we can actually get away with showing. Right, guys, I'm going to film my face because we have just found full on nudes. It's here. Uh, oh I'll, my cover God. Up, I'll cover up. Okay, the we're gonna cover up the nudity, guys. So that's uh, her living her best life with a dude at a bar. Uh, 
You can show this one, I think. Okay. So they've held massive parties. Hang on, let me just turn the light off because the sheen. They've held massive parties. Oh, all these men surrounding one girl oh, and one guy. Oh no! Is that the same? That's the same girl, that's isn't the same it? Same girl in all these pictures. Oh god. I can't. I literally. Some of these you can't show. I'm looking at the sofa. You can't show some of these. I can show that. If oh, I do that. Shit. Oh, Why would you leave those behind? Babe, there's boxes of them in here. What boxes of photos? Yeah, but it's all the same girl. Over and can over we get over. in there, or is the room completely no, there's trash? No floor. There's no floor. No, I'm just grabbing what I can, what I can reach. Okay. Yeah, it's the same girl. You can't really show that one. This one, she's in a nurse outfit. So okay, do you want to bring? It? Oh shit! Oh, that pigeon scared Fuck! The that shit made out me of jump. It. it came from nowhere. It was sat up there. Oh god. Hold on, I'm gonna try and walk on the beam. So just bear with me. Okay. Uh, don't try this at home. This is very dangerous. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals. Uh, you be careful. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh God, I can see, I can see around the corner the boxes. Yeah, I, I, the camera's not going to pick up what you're looking at, but I certainly am telling you now, you can't show half those. No, it's they are really very, explicit. Very What's this? Postcards. They look like little like handouts. Yeah, they're handouts for a dancer. Oh shit. Yeah, no, they had a proper operation going here. It looks like men would pay money to all have parties and shag this one girl. Was it in this room? Because I, I, I can't film it again, but I've just looked at the paintwork and the design, and I'm adamant that's this room. It could have been. And also, we've got couches over there. A lot of ladies' clothes that you can just see the amount. God, just piled up. Right, bear with me. And I'm stood on a... Oh, I'm stood on a mattress. You know what that means. Oh, Every single thing that would have happened in this room, in a naughty way, would have been on this mattress that I'm freaking oh, stood on. <laughs> It's a picture of the woman and a man in a maid outfit, and he's having his bum tickled by a feather duster. What? He's being humiliated in this photo. And they paid for that? I guess some people like that. Right, right. guys, so if you come to this mansion, that is the room you want to hit. I can't film in it because there's so much explicit content. There's boxes of but photos in all there. All of these as well. I can see I've got a box of photos, but don't start opening them because of a, I think we'll get too carried away. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think I've seen enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's go see what's in the rest of the mansion. Okay. I genuinely cannot believe how bad this place is in the sense of what's left behind. So I have been to places before that uh, were brothels and or poor houses as it says online to call it, um, but none of them were as bad as this. So they were all kind of like shells. So finding this amount of dirty content is actually quite surprising in the yeah, Urbex game. Not many places to walk, I think. Oh we God. Want, if we want to go in there, it looks like it might be a kitchen. We'd have to go around this way. So balance on the plank of wood. Yeah. Yeah, this place is trashed. Um, before I go down that way, babe, um, I've just noticed in there as well, there's another cupboard full of uh, women's clothing. And also men. So there's a lot of men's stuff in this one, actually. So maybe that was like a spares, like lost property. I have no idea. All right, take it really careful. Yeah, this is all right. Oh, God. Okay. Well, as I say, if I fall, it's only about a foot and a half. Oh, God. Lost my balance there. All right, so this is the end of the corridor. Obviously, that's where we've just been. Bathroom in here, looking absolutely disgusting. And this, oh yeah, we ain't getting upstairs. Babe, look at that. No, from what I can see outside also, yeah. the top floor has been completely burnt out. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna risk my life for the sake of a, a video, yeah. but I'm enjoying this so far. I tell you what, we're finding some, <laughs> right, some pretty very, hectic stuff. Very, very careful. It looks like this might have been used as a kitchen at one point. Yeah, I was gonna say, at the back, you've got those two um, fridges. twin fridges. Table here, kettle, yeah, plates, plates, bowls. That, yeah. yeah, so this is more than likely your, uh, your kitchen. Some games and bits up here, books. All right, so, not not a great deal. That rather links links sort of like the the vibe of the place, but there we are. So, all right, so we're making it through the kitchen. The floors are terrible. I think they're getting worse, aren't they? You're gonna need a torch in here. Okay, yes, yeah, fine. I've got a flashlight in my hand. Yeah, the floors are getting significantly. What is all that white powder? It's very shiny. Mm. Very fine. Oh my goodness! Whoa. There's a lot going on here. There's so much stuff in here. You've got to remember as well, this place has been stripped. Like obviously at the front of the driveway, we saw the amount of stuff that's just thrown everywhere. And there's still just stuff beyond stuff. So yeah. I actually dread to think what this place would have looked like when it was uh, when it was open with all the stuff inside of it. Because it right. probably would have been like a hoarder's house. You can James Bond this, come on. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Is that the song? That is, isn't it? Doo -doo -doo. 
Oh, Isn't that Mission I, Impossible? Oh, is that Mission Impossible? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Close right. enough. I don't know if it goes on much further. Ooh! Oh, it's a moth. It's a moth. Yeah, I, I'm terrified. Do you want me to have a look? Um, it's okay. Oh, shit! What? Look behind you. What? On the floor. Oh, shit. What? Look at the knife! The knife! Oh, God. Why is that There's here? There's blood on the tip of it. Look. Oh. Look, that's blood. When it goes that colour. That's not good. Oh no. Keep your hands off of that, no fingerprints. That is that's as big as your foot. Put your foot beside it. Yeah, it's my foot size. Right, what what size what size shoe do you take? Uh twelve UK. God That's that's bad. It's a dead end here. It's just a toilet. Okay. Toilet. Well yeah, that was just a little supply cupboardy thing. Yeah. Alright. There's another hallway we should go check out back that way. Okay. Right. That's concerning that there's a, there's a knife with blood on the tip and it is definitely blood before anyone comments going, oh, it's not. It is. I can assure you because it's gone like that brown rusted colour. So, a bit imagine, concerning. Can you imagine how much money these people had to have a whole mansion to themselves just to run a brothel with? Yeah. They literally have money to burn. Is that, have we been down there? This one here? Yeah, we're going to go that way, but we got to go this way to get there. Okay, that's fine. The house is too short. Yeah, that's fine. But it's sort of a shame because I'd love to have seen it when it was like structurally correct. But at the end of the day, it has been abandoned for what? What was it again? 10, 10 years plus? I can't remember. I, don't know. I actually can't remember. But look, there's also one of the old fashioned fire, um, school bells, fire bell. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, come have a look at our next obstacle. This is where it gets a bit difficult. Oh, God. All right, that's a bit of a death trap, isn't it? Right. Well, Andrew, you're going to have to be really careful. That's, that's, that's quite deep now. Follow me. That fall. Follow me where I go. Okay. The last room is about a foot and a half full. That is about five to ten foot. I can't right. tell. Look, so is there a basement underneath us then? I don't know. There must be if it's the falls like that. Right, just be really careful. Yep. This? Whoa. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, well there's hardly any core up here, so again, okay. be really careful. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, what have they done to this place? Is this just like another little room? Yeah, it's a room. There's tons of stuff in here, but... Oh, God. They have gone through and stripped the Whoa. whole thing out. Why? Hang on, no. No, wait, look. Look at all the windows and the frames there. Yeah. But look, the windows are in intact. So where the hell have they come from? Maybe downstairs. There's a lot of windows missing down there. Also, you were saying about kids' stuff. I just noticed at the back corner, look. There's a child's little... Um, uh, yeah. A child's uh, a car chair. Car seat. Car seat, yeah. Hmm, that's very, very strange. I wonder if they let the women live here, so when they obviously got I, pregnant, I, bet, I wonder I if they're allowed. I bet you she did, yeah. I bet you she did. Yeah. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna step into the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, gross. There's a dead pigeon in here. Sorry? There's a decayed dead pigeon in here. Oh, no. I love pigeons. Okay. Um, so... That's probably gonna be another bedroom. Well, in here, but... if you want to have a look, there's an old school bar stool in there. Okay, and so the other room. A pink toilet. Wow, there's so many bed frames in here, and bases. Another massive chunky TV. That's like 2005 vibes. Yeah, you're right. The bar stool. God. Oh, okay. It's a weird design toilet. Ah, not too bad. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Just uh. Really letting it sink in where my life has gone now. I'm, in, I'm chilling out here right now. <laughs> You're chilling in a brothel, an ex-brothel, oh, with your brothel. girlfriend. How do you feel? You know, I didn't think you swung that way, but hey, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not Oh, hang on, there was a staircase there. Yeah, but as you can see, all that fire damage in there. Oh. It would in no way, shape, or Yeah, this, we can't risk that. There. No, absolutely not. No, I'd love to, but then again, it's like you say, it's basically been shelled, so... Yeah. There's no point really bothering with that. Oh. Right, back to the death trap. Yeah, I'm adamant there's a basement below us because the drop, it's its too big. It wouldn't be to the, the foundation of the building, so God knows. All right, well, that door's barricaded. Okay. Oh, these stairs are so bad. Yeah, just oh, the original Snow White. God, I used to love that film. All right, this is the bit you don't, you don't want to fall out. You can see all the gaps in the floor. All righty. You got this. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, guess what I found? It's a mirror. There she is. <laughs> Sorry, you have to put up with my bullshit. Are you okay? 
It's a pigeon, it's a pigeon. Pigeons, I know. Yeah. So what was this? That back to the main corridor? Yeah, I think that's the majority of the yeah. house that we can access, but I saw... I don't think we can do that. There's no fucking way. I, just, I saw underneath the floor is that she just like bowed. Yeah. And it's wood rot. But look at the stained glass windows up there. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I don't know if I can catch it on camera because the sun... No, unfortunately the sun's too strong, but still pretty um i did notice outside there was a whole lot of stuff including some trailers i saw the car i, I got might... oh yeah and yeah the car. I, the car. I wanted to look at that I yeah i think we should that. swing out there right so i think that's all of it in here isn't it as well as much as we can uh, access Babe, yeah you have to see this this is awesome what come here come here okay i found a news article okay on the guy that used to run this place that's him <gasps> drug dealer what? on the run Police are hunting a convicted drug dealer from Torquay, released early from prison on license, who has been on the run for more than two weeks. They have released this photo in the hope it will jog people's memories and help them track him down. James Quinn, 39, who is linked to Torquay, has failed to meet the conditions of his license since August 4th, which includes a curfew requirement. Police have already carried out searches in Cornwall and the West Midlands as they try to trace him. A Devon and Cornwall police spokesman, we have already made a number of inquiries to try and find Mr. Quinn, blah, 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 blah. We hope that by releasing this photograph, we'll be able to find him. He can serve the rest of his sentence for supplying Class A drugs. Quinn was released from HMP Channing's Wood earlier this year after being sent to prison for supplying Class A drugs. But because he's breached his license requirements, the Minister for Justice has revoked his license and we called Quinn back to prison. He's a white male, five foot, nine inches tall, portion of Bill with short, straight, gray hair, brown eyes, and speaks in a deep voice with a West Midlands accent. He has a tattoo with the letters Taylor on his right arm. Now, if I Whoa. recall from the story, didn't he flee to Thailand to get caught? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's him. I can't believe we've actually got a photo because I couldn't find a photo online. So guys, that is the guy responsible. That's absolutely crazy. Do you know what's even worse? It's the fact that it's actually in here. Yeah, it was right it's here. It's actually in here, so... It was chilling right yeah. there. And I walked... I, oh, no, I, I literally filmed the sword earlier talking about the kids' toys and missed that completely. Mm -hmm. How was that? Just more... Uh, naughty more nudes. Nudes. You can't see. <laughs> they had a lot of bush back then. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go check out the rest of the house? Yeah, yeah. That sounds, that sounds cool. Also, if you're interested... It looks like someone was trying to be some kind of designer. This is college Oh, stuff. wow! Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Barbie. Hi, I'm Barbie. Don't forget to check out her last video if you yeah, like Barbie Yeah, check out my stuff. Barbie mansion. It's going to be linked down below. This is absolutely awesome. These are some awesome. of the Charles Nightwear from... In the, so, so somebody was studying at college then. I think they're either studying fashion or they were studying... It's um, fashion, 100%. Yeah, look, it's all clothing. Yeah. Oh. Fashion illustration. Big old Pikachu. That's probably the nicest thing in here. It's so pretty just like it's new <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know it'd be sad if this is if this is belonging to the the girl who was being used in the brothel yeah and she was actually studying to try and become a fashion designer yeah well it's sad because i was reading articles obviously before we came here i've done a lot of googling and it's sad because most brothels the women working in them is ge genuinely because they're just so desperate for money they have to do the worst of yeah yeah that's what they got so it's sad because she was probably doing oh this sort of stuff name? to make money chloe crabtree Oh, yeah. 4th of April, 2001. Um, I then asked the client what he thought of the pajamas, what he likes and dislikes. When I put on the pajamas, they was soft and felt warm. I like the clouds and the stars because they are like the night. I like the shorts, but the top is a bit big. I like these pajamas, and mummies say they look good on me. So Aww. she was designing kids' pajamas and got a review from, yeah. uh, from a child. Oh, bless her. And yeah, like you say, she's probably trying to make money here yeah. to... To be able to basically fund her, her uni or college course. No, it's just some health stuff. Yeah, health. Diets. Right. Let's right, go. let's uh, let's head out to the, to the cars. Yeah, so there we are, guys. You're literally seeing it in, in full swing. Obviously, like, this place has got so many secrets. Like, if you keep digging, you will find stuff. I always say this Urbex. People go to buildings and they'll just look just with their eyes. But use your hands. Have a little dig around. But obviously, don't be disrespectful. But just, just you know, this is the fun of it. You, you're literally unraveling a story. And if Andrew hadn't dug through that, for example, he'd never found it. So it's very much worth doing. Um, but I think we've done the whole inside now. So I think it's just a case of going to the cars and the campus outside. Yo, look over there. What? There's clearly a trailer over there. Oh, God, there's a car front. Yeah, there's a... All right, we're going to have to go around the house. Wow. But let's try and get a look at everything. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, we should be fine, should be the neighbours on us. Okay, hopping back out the window. Oh, got us a jump. Hold on. Hold that on. was not subtle. No, that was not subtle. <laughs> Neither is that subtle. We're not very subtle, are we? Oh, it's 
Oh, oh, it's the film Split. It's a movie poster. Yeah, 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 I watched that film. Have you? Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually quite a good film. Okay. Yeah, it's on net. I think I think it's still on Netflix as we speak. Oh. There we are, January twenty. Yeah, it's about the guy who has um like he has like a multiple personality disorder and like only one January personality 20. will let him out. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That means people are using this as a dumping ground. That's what that's what I was thinking. Yeah. This, the, this isn't all from inside. People just come here to dump all their shit. Yeah. To be honest, when we came out here earlier, I was thinking that that this could not have all come from the mansion. No, Maybe no. the mattresses, granted, and the kids' toys, but all of that. Really? There's not enough room in there. Obviously, the windows are open, so maybe they've thrown stuff out of it. Yeah, but, but no, this has been too much. before 2020. Yes. So yeah. No, this has. So to they're bringing be stuff up here and fly tipping. Well. It's disgusting, isn't it? I hate fly tipping. Right, so we're just swinging around the outside of the premises. Um, as I say, there are neighbours very much keeping an eye on me as we speak. Um, but we've done we've done the majority of the inside and stuff, right. so I'm not really phased. Oh look. Oh, she's sad. It's a crying clown. Why would you make a sad doll? Oh my god, that's adorable. And creepy at the same time. Oh, that's, that's, that reminds me of um, Coraline. Have you ever seen the film yeah, Coraline? Yeah, I have. With the button eyes. Why would you make that for a child? A sad... A sad clown. She genuinely looks depressed. Yeah, but oh, hun! The sad clowns are iconic. Look, there's loads of kids' toys. Yeah. So, look, there's pie face in there. Such a good game quality. Yeah, there's loads of kids' toys. Yo, babe, look. look. Check this out. <gasps> oh! This? It's interesting. Oh this my is, god. This is the older version of my car. Obviously, I have a white one, but it's an Audi A4. Oh, wow. Uh, that is an old model. That's crazy. Obviously, it's in horrible condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just have a look real quick. See if it's unlocked. Ugh. I bet it smells really bad in there, doesn't it? It's not too bad, but what's I that? can't believe there's a car on this site. Uh, yeah, it's seen better days. Why on earth would you abandon this? That's amazing. Uh, it could have died. Somebody but a car, like, you know, you but can move a car. You can't move a mansion. Oh, you know, it could have been their car. Maybe. It could have just been sat here since Or it could have been the guy. You know, the man that ran away and yeah. fled to Thailand? Maybe that was his car and he didn't Actually, want to be traced. No. I mean, we're seeing dumping grounds everywhere. Did, did, okay, maybe he owned an Audi A4. Did he also own a freaking semi truck? Or what yeah, about. Yeah, true. What is, is this a boat carrier? Yeah, no, you, no, you've got a good... Oh, there's another boat in the hedge. Oh, this is a boat. There's a boat there too. Look, look at the size of that one. The blue one. Yeah, I don't think this wow. was all theirs. I think people have been dumping stuff on the outside to get rid of it. Yeah, that's probably why they've locked the gates so heavily then. It's not actually the building. It's, it's because people keep fly tipping. Yeah, hundreds Yeah, these boats are huge. And at the time, these would have cost quite a lot. What's it made out of? It's wood. It's wood. It's wooden, yeah. But no, even these trailers, I know it's so stupid, they're not easy to get a hold, well they are easy to get a hold of, sorry, but they're expensive. Honestly guys, walking around this property is, is pretty insane. I would not expect this to be a, I wasn't expecting this at all actually, if I'm completely honest with you. I was expecting just a normal mansion, you know, a couple of articles, a little, you know, a bit of naughty stuff, but no, not, not on this scale, this is mental. Oh, you can have a little jump, babe. <laughs> yes. It technically works. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Lucas say. Okay, so wow. clearly, clearly. This so is commercial businesses stuff. Businesses have been dropping their old stuff here. Oh shit. We got an old Tango machine. Or a Tango, oh my uh, goodness. Razor. That's not even in bad condition. No, we got a Lucas Aid one. They, they're probably broken. Yeah. And then obviously all of this, all these fridges. Yeah, there's no way there was, uh, on average, 10 fridges in this mansion. No, People no. are definitely fly tipping. Local takeaways and whatnot, I bet yep. you are dropping these off. Taking here. the mickey. Because oh, that's just, a shame. Because they can't be asked to run them away themselves. Yeah, no, that's a shame. We've also got, I've noticed, guys, walking around it, there's a ton of sofas. There's one there, one there. Also, near the cars, just around that corner. I'll show you again. Um, that is a, yeah, basically packed of sofas. Sofa so. there as well. Oh, yeah, another one. So, Inside I know this sounds, obviously, I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that was probably for the, the prostitutes, if you think about it. Like, it having men sitting and, or, you know, some girls wouldn't even have had a bed. Yeah. And that's unfortunately how some of these places go. And look even again behind you, look at all the mattresses. So we've got it's one there, them, yeah. got a king size, maybe a double in there, nice. another sort of seating area in there. That's an abandoned trailer. Yeah, another, another camper. Trailer. Yeah. Camper, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to get into that, babe, because it's very overgrown. And... Nah, and it's filled anyway, just with crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's completely truck. filled. Oh, my God. Is that a low loader? Oh, no, it's a whole truck. Are yeah, you it's sure? A, it's filled up the steering wheel. Oh, oh wow! It lit on fire. Why would you burn it? That's so annoying, isn't it? When we find stuff like this, I get so pissed off when people burn shit. There's just Actually, no need for it. No, looking at it, it's not even a truck. It, it's also a camper van. 
camper. As a camper. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, that, that makes seats. sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, all wow. been burnt out. That's pretty cool. Though. Yeah, no, it's good. To, it's cool to look at. Don't get me wrong. It's rustic and lovely, but just would have been nice to see it in its full swing. So, right, as you guys know, obviously we entered on this side and we did all the bottom floor. We can't get up there, but like I say, I think pretty much we got the best parts anyway. So the top floor is probably so burnt out anyway. Like yeah. it's just going to be a shell with nothing in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, like I say, um, I think we did get the best parts. We found the blow up doll. We found magazines. We found photos of actual people who worked here. That's crazy. Um, so I'm very happy with this site, but as I say, it's fallen into disrepair and shame it's it's gone i have a thought right oh. some people say us as youtubers they tell us get a real job yeah what do you make of that kind of work in this building would you say that's a real job or would you prefer us doing youtube that's true on, let yeah. us know down below <laughs> right there we are so there's a side profile of the back of the car park area i'm saying car park i don't actually fucking know it looks like it yeah, could be wrong i don't know and then there's a little office down here but i think we're not gonna be able to get into that it looks like it's full i have no idea oh yeah no it's just full of boxes and crap so there's no point me really going in there yeah and there's inside the back of the trailer um and as i was saying obviously there's all the sofas so we've got what one two three four five sofas six sorry one up there as well i've really enjoyed this explore as i say this place unfortunately is pretty battered but it's more about what you find opposed to what it looks like on the outside oh there we are guys and as andrew was just saying there's a stained glass from the outside um yeah, but no, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. Up there, as you can see, it's been burnt out, it's dripping, it's decayed. So I'm quite happy we did what we did. All right, guys, so I think that concludes our explore. Um, I've really enjoyed this. As I say, it's more about digging and finding things. Um, and I think we'll call it call it a day. Yeah, I, yeah? Don't, I don't want to spend another minute here, to be honest no, with you. No, no, I'm dreading getting out because I think the neighbour's been watching us, but um, we'll right. soon find out. No, it's coming. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just driving by. Right, let's make a move. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. How am I going to do this? Yep, there you go. That'll do it. And then just ease yourself down onto that. There you go. You got it. You're there. <laughs> Short girl problems. Sorry. <laughs>